Welcome to the world of Max Fleischer's Color Classics. Max Fleischer was a cartoonist and pioneer animation producer and a chief rival to Walt Disney during the 1930s. Though Fleischer had invented the rotoscope in 1917, a device still used today to trace live action photography into frame by frame animation art, and despite Fleischer's early use of sound, multiplane backgrounds, and extra length cartoons, Disney was still the industry leader. When Disney popularized color cartoons, Fleischer followed suit with color classics. Following the Disney mold, the Fleischer studio attempted to adapt well-known fairy tales or create nostalgic, romantic, or humorous stories around musical motifs and original songs. But leave it to the Fleischers and their offbeat brand of humor. For example, this first film based upon the old woman in the shoe nursery rhyme. Here the Fleischers give it a contemporary swing music, kick in the pants. In 1935's Kids in a Shoe, listen for Smiley Burnett, Gene Autry's western sidekick, as the young singing kid with a deep voice. your bread and you didn't eat your bread, so go ahead and wash and hurry into bed. Shoo, 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 shoo.
sleep and remember no music around here. This video collection attempts to compile all of the films of this celebrated series of cartoons, but not all of them are available in a presentable fashion. Years of neglect by the current owners of the master negatives have left these animation masterpieces in terrible shape, and some were lost altogether. There were 36 cartoons in the Color Classic series, all but one in the public domain. Scouring the world, searching private film collections and university film archives, we were able to track down all the color classics. Four titles were found in poor condition, and one of those could only be located in black and white. Here is that rare film, Time for Love, a romantic cartoon based around the popular song, Love in Bloom, a song which became famous years later as the signature theme song for comedian Jack Benny. Is it all a dream, the joy supreme that came to us in the bloom? You know it isn't a dream, it's love in bloom.
The Fleischer brothers created a unique invention to add the dimension of depth to their animated cartoons. They actually built three-dimensional sets on a large round table. They would photograph their characters, painted on cells, on a vertical camera stand with the 3D background set behind them. A fine example of this stereo optical process is in our next cartoon, the nostalgic Musical Memories. And now we present a pleasant diversion in which we forget the swiftly moving tempos of the present and go back to the past, recalling old scenes and songs and tranquil memories. I've wandered today to the hills, remember? To watch the scene below. Creaking old mill, Maggie, as we used to know long ago.
its own dove into the shade. And through the fields of clover, we'll ride up to Dover on a golden wedding day. Put on your own gray bonnet, put on your The last color classic cartoons were released in mid-1940. By then, the series was turned over to Hunky and Spunky, a donkey duo who had been nominated for an Academy Award in 1938. The Fleischers continued to make a series of miscellaneous cartoons in black and white under the animated antics banner. But in mid-1941, the Fleischers released what would be the last color classic, a final Hunky and Spunky cartoon called Vitamin Hay.
Paramount Pictures sold the rights to their pre-1950 animation, including the color classics, to TV distributor U.M.&.M. in 1955. National Telefilm Associates took over the library in 1956, NTA became Republic Entertainment in the 1980s, and today, Paramount and Republic are joined as sister companies under the Viacom umbrella. These films, which were a success in theaters in the 1930s, and a staple of TV in the 1950s and 60s have been neglected and forgotten for too long. We hope you've enjoyed watching the rarest of the Max Fleischer color classics.